Ethereum broke a crucial support level. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. We are getting close to 900 Telegram members. If you guys want to stay up to date with my charts as well as my analysis, make sure to check out the link in the hey bio. Guys, here. Welcome back to another Ethereum analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Ethereum, we ended up breaking below a very key support level here at 1612. In yesterday's video, I mentioned the fact that we are still paying attention to the bearish case scenario because we don't really see a reason for any sort of bullish momentum as of right now you can see we did see another liquidity grab like i said in yesterday's video we saw the first liquidity grab into the 1645 range and then the second liquidity grab into the 1639 range before seeing a stronger continuation this is exactly why i told you guys to focus on the 1612 support over and over for the past few weeks is because every time we end up losing that support level we tend to see a massive breakdown formation for those of you that have been part of telegram we have managed to catch some very nice shorting opportunities so congratulations to those of you that have joined and right now ethereum overall take profit level from a swing position is remaining to be at the 1518 support the reason for this of course is you can see ethereum did see a very nice move towards downside we had a nice rally right back into the 1657 zone and of course that level was very important for the bulls to try to break above we failed to break above that zone and this is exactly why we are seeing this continuation as well as the fact that if you pay attention to our exponential moving averages you can see that they were being used as resistance on the way towards the downside and every time we end up pushing below the exponential moving average as well as on that support we always always see a huge move towards the downside now what I wanted to pay attention to, of course, is looking at the four hour time frame. Right now, all eyes remain to be around the 1518 support, but you can see that we do have a move set low into 1539. What I'm going to be paying attention to is to wait until this level is tested in terms of wake low and then possibly looking for any sort of continuation. If we look at the medium term on Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that we continue to reject off our exponential moving averages without any sort of movement towards the upside this is what i mean by paying attention to the larger time frames when you are looking for a swing position for a long the first step that you have to pay attention to is to see whether or not we have broken above our emas yesterday i mentioned the fact that although we do have a slight break for forward we are still not using that level as support i warn you guys about the same exact situation that happened over here where we had a false breakout immediately being rejected right back into the same resistance and then continue to push lower and right now you can see we are in the same exact situation yesterday we had a false break and right away we saw the same break formation into the 1612 so be very very careful as you guys are trading what i'm going to be paying attention to for the medium term though is to see what happens once we end up breaking below 1518 i have probably been the only one on youtube mentioning the fact that we are paying attention to our 1390 support because of the fact that we do have a massive m formation and i'm not interested in any sort of long opportunities until this level is tested the reason for that of course is you can see that we have some very nice wick opportunities at this zone and every time we end up losing 15 18 the weekly support that puts ethereum in a very tight zone you're much better off looking for shorts right now than you are for longs unless you are scalping but of course that is extremely dangerous and the reason for that of course is if the trend is pushing towards the downside you don't necessarily want to trade against the trend you can see that previously when we were using the exponential moving averages as support that was the opportunity to be looking for those buy opportunities but now we are using the same levels as resistance so there's absolutely no reason to be looking for those longs but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a